Hey everybody, your name Fox here, and today we got a new video from the Hobbit's Dog. And this is actually number two of the Scare Bear. Or, <laughs> not Spare, Scare Bear. Bear's Crow. I remember um, he did like, I think it was a year ago. Can't remember where he released it. But this is the Miss Compassionale. <laughs> it's by Manu. Hey you. So, you'll see what happens. Oh, this is a continuation of the last one. If you haven't seen that, I think go check it out. Go see me how to react to it or just the original video. So, without further ado, let's begin. Adam Kroniger, do you know why you're back here again? How would I not? You do this every month. You bring me in for a crime I keep telling you I didn't commit. While, yes, Mr. Kroniger, we have not uncovered any physical evidence that you committed the crime, as the murder weapon was never found and the body had no traces of your DNA, you are still a suspect, as you were the closest person to Madison when she was murdered. I don't think I've ever asked you this, Mr. Kroniger, but why would you want to live in a place like that? It's clearly past its prime, and there are more holes in the boards than there are shattered windows. How does this help my case in the slightest way, officer? Your explanation could differentiate your simple living space or your temporary murder planning headquarters. 
fine. You must know, I'm basically broke. That old shithole is the only place around here I can afford. All I have left is that house, this suit, and a plan to drink myself away. Until it. Until what? Until that damn scarecrow start acting up. The the scarecrow in the cornfield? Hey, look. Before I start my ramble, you can list this down as an acid trip, or a wild nightmare, or some shit, because I don't expect you to believe me. But every week or so, that, that thing starts moving around and makes its way into my house. The first couple times I hit, and thank God, it never looks in the cupboard. I've tried dismembering it, it reassembles the next morning. I've tried burning it, the damn thing doesn't catch a flame. The little ones I can kill, but they keep crawling out of the scarecrow. I have been leaving the house at night ever since I realized that thing can't die. And it seems to work for now. But I'm telling you that that thing killed the girl. And that thing is after me. That hellspawn demon is alive and it's coming for me. So my friends on level one keep talking about this thing since I've been transferred here. The higher-ups gave me a general rundown of what we're guarding, but could you tell me a bit more? Oh, for sure, dude. Honestly, this guy has to be one of my favorites so far. So, around two years before we discovered it, it murdered a girl on Halloween. Forget her name, though. Anyways, the guy who was arrested for the murder called the police saying he found the murderer only for the police to find him with the murder weapon trying to make a break for it. Damn, so like, how did he get the weapon and the Scarecrow killed her then? We suspect the Scarecrow hid the weapon and decided to frame the guy for the murder when he took action against it. We found him walking out of the cornfield minutes after he was arrested. Though when I asked how he found it, since we had no idea of its existence since that night, the 
higher-ups would only say that they found it accidentally. Whatever that means. Huh. Weird. Then again, though, everything I've seen in this place so far doesn't make sense. I wonder how many things they've managed to hunt down so far in these two levels. Oh, dude. From what I've heard, there's like five floors to this place. And maybe even more considering how sketchy people are around here. Holy shit! I've barely seen anything then. And I always thought that rabbit puppet thing was always gonna be the creepiest thing. <laughs> So that was the Hollow Socks new video and also the new Bear Crow one. So that's probably them too. Let's see if it happens third for next year, number three. So hope you guys enjoy and see you guys next video. Bye bye.